One of the new features we've added onto Dive Tab is stamps. Stamps provides a great way to get a, to get a quick glance of what is going on in your organization. Stamps is put on top of the measure factory, which allows any KPI to become a stamp in a matter of just a few clicks. And we also have a number of different templates which can be applied for every stamp. For templates such as year to date, we can either use the standard or the fiscal calendars. And you can also apply any number of filters um, to, to each stamp. Send stamps is built on top of the measure factory. The setup is very quick and simple for a developer. And it's also very easy to get the end users up and running. Like everything else within DiveTab, it is scripted once and it works across different platforms. Now I'm going to get on into the demo. I'm going to go ahead and click the stamp area. And the first thing you're going to see is there is 14 different stamps down here. So we can see at a quick glance what's going on for the um, cases year to date, the cases month to date, the cases today, uh, the nine liter cases rolling 12, and so on and so forth. Now, if you were to look at the nine cases rolling 12, you can see that. Uh, the seventh month being July is the first bar which is presented up here. And take a look at some of the numbers. This one, I'm going to change the anchor date from 7 9. And I'm just going to go ahead and pick 5 29 and then hit OK. That anchor date is now going to be reflected on all the different stamps. So you're going to pick any date and time in choosing, and you're going to see the numbers which get reflected. Over here at the nine liter cases, we can now see that the bar starts in the fifth month, which is May. I could have also applied filters for the city, the brand, and the city, but I'm not going to in interest of time. Now what we are looking down here is we're going to um, view the nine liter cases month to date. So as we can see that there are four different numbers down here, and when I click the stamp, these four columns pop on up. If I sort down on the cases, uh, month to date, we can see that Liam is down about 3.1% than he was the previous year. But if you don't want to look at it by district manager, you can simply click and then you can select any any dimension which is available. If you look at it by brand, you can see that the miswine is you know up by about 12%. And then by right clicking, you can then dive in to that particular dimension value and see a makeup of how they're doing. You can do this as much as you would like to really go and further analyze your data. What you'll see going on is every time I dive into the data, the breadcrumb trail is coming on back, and then I can click at any point to revert to the previous step. You'll also notice that the anchor date of 529 got passed over, as would of any other filters for the chain, brand, and the city. Now I'm gonna go back to the stamp area just by clicking the stamp button. What you might also see is if you want to, is these blue little information icons. So if you want to see what makes up for a nine liter cases KPI, you can click it. And the info fields, which were set up within the measure factor, are being brought down. So if you are unsure of what the definition is or the category of the calculation, it is simply listed. Now, you as an end user, if you want to go about and add your stamps, you simply click the add stamp button. You can see that these are all the KPIs which are available. If I click market share, now we have um, 11 different templates which are available. I'll click the first one, I hit okay, and it gets added at the end. If I don't care for a particular placement, I can go over here, hit edit stamp. This X is just going to ask you if you want to delete the stamp, we're going to hit no, but maybe we want this stamp at the very front, in which case we're just gonna move it over here. And now you can see that the stamp is over here. Uh, laying out the stamps like this, they're all going to transfer across devices since they are tied to your user account. So if you sign on to your iPhone or an iPad or your PC, you're going to see the same stamp out organization. Now I'm going to go and take a look at how things look within an iPhone. So here is the site within the iPhone. And as you can see, there, there's a stamps hot list. I'm going to go and click it. And the idea behind having more than one stamp area is you can have Categorize the stamps by you know department or KPI or time frame or just having a few different hot lists or pick lists, right? So if we don't want to see 20 or 30 stamps within the stamp area, you can have multiple different areas, which just makes it easier to maintain. Uh, similar to the PC version, you can just click edit and then you can just drag and drop and reorganize the stamps as you would like. 
or you can simply just click the little red X and hit delete. I'm not gonna do that now, I'm gonna go and hit done, and then I'm gonna go and dive into the cases here to date, and we can understand that this is all of your information within, um, within the iPhone. Now to follow up the presentation, one of the ideas I have not touched upon is that it's their ability to, to use preloaded stamps. And that allows, and that's great for the onboarding process since you can jump to a stamp area and you can have a number of different KPIs associated with their templates. So the first time you log on, instead of seeing a blank screen, you can see X number of stamps and then that user can customize them at a later point in time. Thank you for tuning in.